Welcome back. In today's episode of Oxygen Not Included, I'm going to be comparing stress versus not stress. Now, this is in direct response to my last experiment, which was the duplicate hamster experiment, where I put Gassy Run here on a hamster wheel, made him, tortured him, and ran him on this wheel day after day to generate power and to also expel vomit and piss that could then be turned into fertilizer. Now, that requires him to be very, very stressed so that he does have his vomit response. Now, there was a ton of comments over here that you guys were talking about, actually 19 in total, that were referring to stress. And I've always personally thought that stress had some sort of negative debuff. However, when I went to look at my results on the, of, of the power output here, what I was seeing that over several days here is that I wasn't really generating more than 190 kilojoules of power day after day even though his athletic ability was increasing, huh? which was different. So I'm thinking that stress was playing a factor there, and many of you guys were also saying the same sort of thing about that. So there's a ton of them here. So that's exactly what my test today, or my experiment today, is going to try to verify. So how am I gonna test that? Well, let's take a look at this experiment right here. On the left, I have a area of enormous, immaculate, amazing decor, 560 right there have been pa painted by a master and many statues. And then I have the exact same equipment over here on the right, but they're surrounded by corpses and death and horribleness. And this currently has a negative decor of 36, but I'm, I'm filling it with the dead at the moment. And we'll see if we can get that even lower. So we have two duplicates, but they have the exact same equipment. So you got a manual generator, a massage uh, pff, mess table, a cot, and a lavatory right there that they'll be able to use. So a couple of stress reducers, but hopefully that stress overall will still be very, very high for this duplicate and very, very low for this duplicate. And we'll also be able to answer some other questions that maybe at what percentage the stress then start to neg negatively affect your duplicate or does it negatively affect your duplicate at all? It should be very, very apparent. The amount of power that's going to be output from these manual generators is going to be like an old school test. This is actually a great idea. I love this one. Uh, so what I have here on the power end of things is that this these power generators are just going to light bulbs. Now, I have one kilowatt of light bulbs on either side right there. So it should be a very visual indication of how much power is being output from those generators right there. We can also do the reports as well to see what those results end up being. And how do you disable a memorial? I don't know. Let's de deconstruct it. Oh, there goes a skeleton. <laughs> oh, and it's just fallen through everything. Huh. I never knew that. I never even tried that till now. If you deconstruct a tasteful memorial, it does turn into a skeleton. Although in this case, it fell through everything. Strange. All right, so real quick, if we take a look at the debuffs here on Bubbles, you'll see that she's not having a very good day. So not only is she idle right there, which isn't necessarily a debuff, you can just see it's red, but grimy, I'm guessing all of these ones that don't necessarily say what they are, are just increasing the rate of stress. I'm, I'm guessing at that point, I don't know. I haven't been able to figure it out just yet, but we got grimy, we have dirty hands right there, cannot reach food, starving, that's bad. Uh, mourning, so somebody else has just died here recently. So t plus 20% per cycle right there. Sore back has a clear debuff, which is minus one athletic ability right there. So her stats, athletic right there, has a sum of two. However, her skill level is currently plus three. So that's how that works right there. And then a full bladder right there. Duplicate would really appreciate a toilet. One of the other stats that isn't shown right here, but suffocation is definitely one of them right there. Or cold or hot, those are also ones as well. So there's a plenty of things that can negatively affect your duplicate. So if we take a look at stress down here, we'll see some interesting numbers, right? Change per cycle is at currently at 60%. Decor expectation is 10%. Morning is 20% and full bladder is 30%. So needing to go to the bathroom is actually more stressful than death. Surprising, huh? I don't know about your priorities, Bubble. So after 15 attempts to load the right duplicate into this map, I finally got Ren back. And now Ren has different stats than the previous Ren. So this Ren is a technician. His statistic ability, he has low athletics. I guess it's minus one currently because he ended up sleeping on the floor when I spawned him in. That will go away here pretty soon. So to sum it up, currently has a, his athletic ability is negative one. Learning is zero and he should be enjoying a very nice boost to stress levels because he's in such a nice area. All right, so here you go, Ren. Jump on up here and generate some power. You can see right over here, each one of these is 100 watts. So each row is 100 watts. And then 
there's 10 rows in total. So currently he's producing one, two, three, 400 watts. Uh, to give you an idea of what I'm tracking over here, what I have is stress-free and stress. I'm gonna track the cycle start of his ability level and then the cycle end of its ability and then average that out because that's gonna to continue to change. That's the best I'm gonna be able to do right there. Also try to do the percent of stress um, for the stress test over here. Hopefully not over on the left side, but we'll have to see right there. Then the total amount of kilojoules generated as well. One thing to keep in mind here is that Ren is going to be stopping to eat and also go to the bathroom. Now he seems to be on a cycle where it's always in the morning, but that's going to negatively impact the amount of power he's going to be able to generate in the day. So that number, that full kilojoules right there. Now, obviously that's a little bit out of my control, but you know, that's just something to be aware of in this test. All right, so here we are. Ren has made it through 50 cycles of stress-free running. Now you'll notice right here, he has a little bit of interrupted sleep. This has come and gone a few times, despite having no real good reason for that interrupting sleep to begin. However, the statistics have made him a very good runner, giving him a skill level of plus 28, and in this case, has an effective uh, athletic ability of 26. If we look at the reports here, we'll see the amount of energy produced per day, 193, 192, 193, and then there was one day there with the 206. I forgot to feed him that day, so we didn't stop to eat. And then it kind of goes up and down a little bit, but we'll see here as we go ahead and graph this all out, what exactly that all equates to. So if we take a look at the results over here, we'll see here that stress-free has the energy on the first day set up so he doesn't stop to eat or go to the bathroom. But after that, he kind of settles down to 192 kilojoules and then kind of you can see the number right there even though the effective athletic ability right there so the beginning of the day and the end of the day then the average of that is increasing so his abilities are going up that you can see that these numbers right here the athletic the output of the kilojoules he's producing is not increasing so this is the same sort of result we saw last time even though that guy was at a hundred percent stress all of this averages out to 193 kilojoules per day all right, so there we have some pretty conclusive evidence of that ability increasing. However, the amount of power that's being produced simply isn't increasing. The amount of light bulbs that are turning on over here has not gone up from 400 at all. It's still been 400 watts. So if it was 410, we'd see 410 watts worth of light bulbs, but that just isn't the case. All right, so here we can see Ren. And Ren has absolutely no debuffs on him. I went ahead and added the shower right there and got rid of interrupted sleep by letting him not work for a single day right there. And the total results is that he's still only producing 400 watts. So that has not increased. I think that's really conclusive evidence to say that, you know, at this point, we're not seeing the ability of athletics relate to more power on that hamster wheel right there. All right, so there's the results for the 0% stress level as related to the power on manual generator. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put a duplicate over here on the right side, stress them out completely and see if those numbers really change that much. All right, so I got lucky and I spawned in Niles right here. Niles has a learning ability of zero, but the athletic ability of negative five. So she's like the worst case scenario. Um, let's go ahead and see just how much power she'll generate. Right off the bat, the amount of lights that are on are 400 watts worth. All right, so when you put these two side by side, you find out that they're generating the same amount of power. And the only thing that's really negatively affecting Niles right now is the interruptions for getting sick and vomiting. So ultimately, A, B test right there, you can see that they're putting out the same amount of power from those hamster wheels. Taking a look at the results here, stress B versus stressed. So what we can see here is that once Niles, her stress level went up to 100% or actually above 80%, she started to vomit every single day right there. She started to vomit every once in a while above 60%. So that's something to keep in mind. That's actually a pretty cool, cool tidbit of information right there. Keep your people below 60% stress. I mean, that's just was one result, but hey, you know what? That might be another experiment for another time, but that's just my observation. So once it was above 80%, she started to vomit every single day right there, and that dropped her productivity to an average of 188. I took those res uh, from here down, I averaged it, and it was 188 kilojoules per day as compared to 193 with a difference of five kilojoules a day right there. So that interruption from stress is what's causing the drop in productivity right there. So what have we learned from this? Both Ren and 
Niles produce the same amount of watts, which is 400 watts. So in that current moment, they can produce the exact same amount of energy. However, Niles will have more interruptions per day, dropping her overall productivity for that day by five kilojoules for that vomiting sort of thing. The other things that would also hurt your productivity or the amount of power you can generate in a single day would be like low oxygen. You have to stop and breathe. That, so that interrupts your duplicate who's on that wheel. So anything you can do to reduce interruptions, that also means like excluding things like showers um, would also help to create more productivity for that duplicate in that day. Another good takeaway that has happened here is that once again, we have seen that both tinkering and athletics has gone up from running on that hamster wheel. But those are the only traits that have increased. So that also reinforces these jobs such as flipping compost, liquid cooling fans, repair, uh, sweeping, and deliver as well. So things that take speed or tinkering, I guess. All right, so here's a really good example of just how much faster Ren is than everybody else. So his abilities have definitely increased in movement speed. I mean, so these are other duplicates. They're all ranging from athletic ability of seven to nine. So you can see how fast they're moving up and down. They're really not moving that fast, but Ren, Ren is just flying past them. <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool right there. A good visual example that there is something increasing, but it, in this case, it isn't necessarily represented in the amount of power that's coming off that hamster wheel. Eventually, I think that will change and I'll go ahead and run this experiment again. But in the current build of the game, current alpha build of the game, there isn't a difference as far as that power and ability goes. All right, well, there you have it. That's my experiment. I think there's some one big takeaway from this, and that is you can make a really, really fast duplicate by having them run constantly on that manual generator, or I think also maybe constantly doing uh, delivery as well is a good way to get that ability up. But if you have them doing one job and one job continuously, they're gonna get really good at doing that. However, in this case right here, in this current build, um, that fast duplicate or that ability that that duplicate that has that high ability is not going to generate more power than that duplicate that doesn't have that ability they're still going to make 400 watts because the game is currently limited by that manual generator only being able to produce 400 watts so there you have it those are the results guys let me know what you think about it down there in the comment section below by the way thank you guys for all of your support recently it's been absolutely awesome and off the charts and it's really blown my mind if i've earned your subscription then thank you so much for that hopefully i'll see you again next time stay awesome guys peace Brothgar out.